the BBC have taken your money to build something and now they're using it to make private profit. That's good, isn't it? Hi, it's me again. And you may remember last week I bought you a video about uh, the BBC studios up in Glasgow being moved from the BBC's you know, public bit that's funded by the TV licence into one of the BBC's private companies called BBC Studio Works. And I remember saying at the time, that sounds a bit dodgy to me. And it did. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link below. You can watch that first and then come back to this one. But in this story that I found here, I think I have found the reason they've done it. And it was dodgy. Let's take a look. So this is just a general story that I found in the Edinburgh News. Why I was in the Edinburgh News, don't worry. Television and filmmaking in Scotland is taking off and the BBC is keen to help. Working in television or movie making is a dream for many, but it has been notoriously difficult to get a break, especially in Scotland. Now, however, there are signs that screen productions are really taking off here and there are unprecedented opportunities. And yeah, I'll go along with that. A lot of stuff is getting made in Scotland because it's quite a picturesque place, a lot of it, and you can understand why period dramas and things are going to be set in Scotland. But let's read on. We'll get to the point I'm trying to make. Not only has it just been announced that the second series of global hit TV drama, Good Omens, will be filmed in Scotland, but paid traineeships are also being offered for people who are keen to be a part of the film and television industry. Yeah, the BBC came out uh, with a story a few weeks ago saying they're really struggling to get talent. What with the wealth of streaming services and the endless amounts of TV channels available, the people who can work and make TV shows can go and work anywhere now, can't they? So the BBC is struggling to get talent. And to counter this, they're giving out loads of traineeships and things like that. And schol not scholarships, what's the word? What's the bloody word? Apprenticeships, that's it. They're giving out loads of apprenticeships and traineeships and stuff like that to try and get some talent in. And it's cheaper than having proper staff. I don't want it. You know, that's, I thought that was slightly dodgy. Let's, let's sack off some of our staff and we'll replace them with trainees who work at a tenth of the price. Nice work. In an advertisement by BBC Studios and Amazon Studios, traineeships are being offered as a production trainee, a prop store trainee, costume trainee, locations trainee, camera trainee, ad trainee, makeup trainee, grip trainee. I, don't, I always see that at the end of films, grip and assistant. What is it? If anyone knows what a grip is, please leave it in the comments below. I've never known. Continuity trainee and video assistant trainee. Chances don't come along like this very often, however there is a reason to believe that screen production in Scotland is really beginning to take off. Things have been improving in recent years with the opening of facilities for filmmaking and the increasing drumbeat of TV and movie productions. For the first time, Scotland has a range of film studios in place and a growing support sector for filmmaking. And as it says here, this is the point I'm trying to get to, Ever more streaming services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus and Apple TV are commissioning billions of pounds worth of content around the world and join domestic producers BBC and STV in what feels like a tipping point for screen production. So there you go. That, I believe, is why the Glasgow Studios were moved from the public bit of the BBC funded by the licence fee over to BBC Studio Works because now... Those studios are still there, and you paid for them, and I did a few years ago when I used to pay a TV license. Everyone who's paid a TV license paid for those studios. They were built with public money. And now they've been moved over to BBC Studio Works, where they're going to make stuff for Amazon. They're going to make stuff for Apple TV. They're going to be used to make stuff for Netflix. And will you get any of that money as an investor, or will you get a reduction in your TV license fee? Pfft, of course you bloody won't. The BBC have taken your money to build something and now they're using it to make private profit. That's good, isn't it? The other way to look at it could be that this is the first move the BBC is making to become a commercial entity only. And they're starting to focus more on that than giving you value for money on your licence fee because they know in 2027, 28 that the licence fee is going to be scrapped off. So that's another way to look at it. Maybe they're preparing themselves. I hope that's the way to look at it. But if they've just taken your money to build something and then shoved it in a private company where they're going to use it to make loads of profit by selling shows around the world and to streaming services, that's a kick in the teeth, isn't it? For all the people who paid the license fee. And that's not right. I don't think that's right at all. Do you? Let me know in the comments below if you think that's right.
towards the end of this story, they're still talking about growing the, uh, the screen industry and productions and things in Scotland. And it says, For this to succeed, we need our traditional broadcasters to up their commitment, especially the BBC, which continues to spend less in Scotland than it raises from the TV licence fee. Yes, because they keep moving it into private stuff. I discussed this last week with BBC Director General Tim Davey, who said he is keen to support the growth of TV and filmmaking in Scotland. He is, but just privately. Hopefully this includes the retention and enhancement of decision making here too, including the BBC Scotland's Pacific Key in Glasgow, which isn't going to be TV licence fee funded. Well, it might still be funded, they'll probably still take some money out of it, but they're going to use it to make productions to sell to Netflix and stuff. You're getting less for your payment, basically, if you pay the TV licence. Even less. How is it possible to get even less for your 159 quid a year? So yeah, as I said, let me know in the comments below if you think this is just the BBC trying to nick a few quid on the side, or if you think they are actually planning for the end of the BBC licence fee in 27-28 when the Charter Review happens. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? So I look forward to reading your comments below. While you're down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps the channel when you do that, and I think you have to say that at the end of videos now. I can't remember last time I saw a YouTube video where someone didn't say that at some point in it, so I thought I'd join the club. But yeah, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.